Hello everyone, I'm so excited to see you. Today we're going to troubleshoot any issues you might have with tokens not recognized by PancakeSwap. Now I don't know when I will resume doing my fitness vlogging or any other diverse vlogging because it seems like I'm down the DeFi rabbit hole and who can blame me with the Binance Smart Chain exploding right now. We're up for a DeFi summer, not financial advice by any means whatsoever, neither is any of what I'm going to say today. So here the MSC token is um, not recognized by PancakeSwap. So if I go in home, they have a link for me. So I'll do buy MSC now. And if you see at the top, uh, this is the uh, the address that I need up in the URL. You see currency equal O, that's, it looks like an Ethereum address. I understand because this is an unrecognized token. So if I change out by in, in the URL, I can sell MSC instead of buying it. Let's see here. I always have to enter twice. And it should prompt the same message. Yes, I understand. So now I can sell it. Let's say I want to buy it again. Another way I could go is copy the address, the Binance Smart Chain address, copy it, and here paste it up top. It says to right here, find a token. So MSC right here. So it will be the same when you want to create liquidity pools like Swamp Finance has also um, you need to use a link to create a liquidity pool or to purchase. Let's see. Learn how to buy. Is that it? No, that's not it. <laughs> Get Swamp LP. So if you add to LP, it, it really doesn't do much. It's more about buying Swamp and then copying. Oops, yes, I understand. Copying, continue. This URL up here. Going in liquidity, add liquidity, BNB and select a currency. And then I'll just paste the URL and done. I have found Swamp. Swamp Swap. I love it. So cute. Yay. Uh, so that's it. I hope that it has helped you troubleshoot your issues. Uh, you know, it, here if you want to remove a, um, you can replace add by remove. And now you can remove your BNB Swamp, which I don't even own. But it's also another little trick that's good to know. Next up, we're going to try to figure out how to pinpoint a rug pull or an exit scam on DeFi. Now, I was a part of this one. Unfortunately, I lost about 1K, more than 1K on this. I exited in time and I pulled the rug on some unsuspecting investors, which I feel bad about. Uh, I'm getting very impulsive and I have to take a step back right now. A good lesson to learn. I also learned a lot about liquidity. I don't know if I've said this in my previous video, but how both sides of the LP can be collateralized, especially if liquidity is going fast. So you having BUSD will help aid your LP in case of a liquidity loss, but it will still deplete good to know. Now, the big metric that I looked at and knew how to pull out in time was in the orchard. Oh, no, at in home. I could see here that there's only 812 burned tokens out of uh, 109,000 minted. And this did not go up. And that is fishy because there are fees. 3% fees if you go into detail and there's 105,000 liquidity. So how is that possible? They're not burning the tokens 
that they're supposed to, not that they've made any promise, but you know, you would usually goose like goose clones will burn those tokens. So they're just, you know, vile and putrid and, uh, you know, <laughs> a mistake of mine. So be careful what you invest in. Uh, I'm so glad I got out in time. Now I can't be whole on my 400 cub that I threw in there really sucks because I think um, cub is going to skyrocket but it's just a motivation in the meantime to purchase cub or actually get the liquidity from the other side of the pool elsewhere and some yields elsewhere maybe on swamp to uh, try to get give back to what cub has given me so much Thank you for watching this video. I hope that this was helpful. Take care and I'll see you again soon.